Right, uh, first new video in a while. Uh, this is a video to help uh, AS students draw motion graphs. And the task here is to draw displacement time, velocity time, and acceleration graphs for a ball which is thrown up and then caught. Now, a lot of people get confused because they think, you know, the, when the ball's in contact with a hand, uh, it, the, the velocity is zero or the displacement is zero. And while it will start with a displacement of zero, it's when the ball is thrown up, so it has an initial velocity. So, first thing you do is draw your axes, and the reason for having a negative part in the y-axis will become clear in a minute. So, first of all, displacement. So, the ball is the ball is thrown up, and the ball will move away from the hand, and then back towards its starting point. So, the displacement will always be, in this case, positive, because it uh, never goes below its starting point if we're using the convention of up as positive, down as negative, which is pretty normal in physics problems, I guess. The one that a lot of people find tricky is the velocity time graph, because while it's going up, the velocity is positive. When it's going down, the velocity is negative. And the minute it leaves the hand, the velocity uh, is decreasing, it's slowing down until it reaches a velocity of zero at the top of its arc. Now, this is only plotting vertical velocity. And uh, the interesting thing here is the gradient. Uh, we all know that um, the accelerating force here is weight or gravitational force. That remains constant. So the gradient of the velocity time graph should remain constant. And what you end up with is a straight line with positive and negative components to it. After that, if we can use what we said before on velocity time, we should see that the, the gradient of a VT graph is acceleration. It's constant, it's negative, so we should get a constantly negative graph. So a couple of tips to help out. As we've done here, plot the graphs one above the other. Use dotted lines to indicate points of interest, like the peak of the throw or the, the end of what's going on. And it's very important to pay attention to the gradients. Like uh, in a displacement time graph, the gradient is changing. The gradient of a displacement time or distance time graph is velocity or speed. So here we have a gradient which is changing. So the velocity is changing. The vertical velocity is changing. And if we look at the area under the graph of the velocity time graph, uh, areas uh, are shaded in blue here. And uh, did we have, had we a rectangle, it would just be a constant velocity times time. So velocity times time is displacement. Here, but the area under here would be equal to the displacement, uh, which would ultimately be zero because uh, the two velocities would be positive and negative, which would cancel each other out. Hope that helps.